because they understand that this is another chance to see a great, great fight. Larry Merchant mentioned earlier the calm before the storm. Now the rumblings of the storm have begun to emerge in the arena. Marco Antonio Barrera is going to work for the 63rd time in his professional career. He started when he was 15 years old. Today, he is 30. So he's been a professional fighter half his life. is Mexico's number one fighter right now. And Barrera said, yes, of course, obviously he is. Well, Morales has no words of uh, praise or kindness for Barrera, whom he thinks somehow stole his thunder because he had so many momentous fights on American television, meaning HBO. The first boxing after dark against Kennedy McKinney, the fights against Junior Jones, which were losses. The fight against Morales. The great victory over Prince Nassim. The rematch with Morales. Somehow, Morales feels he has never gotten his just due. On the other hand, Barrera can afford to be gracious about what Morales has accomplished because he himself has indeed received greater glory. It's only recently that Morales has eclipsed Barrera in the pound-for-pound pound rankings. That happened after Pacquiao knocked out Barrera last year. Now it is Morales who ranks among the top five pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world in the eyes of USA Today and The Ring magazine. And look at the record in championship fights. have a great will to win, Roy. Eric Morales' passion boils as near to the surface as anyone I've ever seen. Yes, it does. And tonight, an 11-pound advantage should show the difference. That's huge. You wonder what Barrera will do when he gets in there and feels the strength advantage that Morales is likely to have with that 11-pound functional weight advantage coming in. Morales had a rough fight with Carlos Hernandez a few months ago. But his whole life has been built around being in the gym, being in the sport, and he expects to stay in boxing for the rest of his life. So the two great fighters are in the ring one last time. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Brought to you in association with Miller Lite, the MGM Grand and HBO pay-per-view, sanctioned by the WBC President Jose Suleiman and the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman John Bailey, Executive Director Mark Ratner. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest in the 10-point system will be Larry O'Connell, Jerry Roth, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Kenny Bayless. Tonight, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, two of boxing's greatest warriors will turn the page to the third chapter of their magnificent fighting trilogy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, y ahora, damas y caballeros, let's get ready to rumble!
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with white, official weight, 129 and one half pounds. Professional record, 58 victories, including 41 knockouts, with four defeats and one no decision. De Ciudad de Mexico, the former three-time champion of the world, the baby face assassin, Marco Antonio Barrera. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 47 victories, including 34 knockouts with only one defeat. De la Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico, the three-time world champion and reigning, defending, WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Eric El Terrible. Any punch thrown in this area is considered a clean punch. Any punch thrown in this area is a clean punch. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, keep the fight clean at all times. But what I say, you must obey. Good luck, brother Swite, touch gloves. You got a mouthpiece? This fight needs no more introduction. All we know for sure is that the Mexican fighter will win which one? <laughs> Before the bell, Marco Antonio Barrera stared across the ring at Eric Morales, and Morales took a long look around the arena as if to drink it all in. And Barrera goes to work right away. It'll be interesting to see when Barrera first feels the 11-pound weight advantage that Morales has brought into the ring. Marco Antonio is the aggressor to begin the fight. He looks like he knows something about the, about the weight already because he's throwing vicious punches off top. What he knows is that he did his best in those 18 rounds when they stood toe to toe. And here is Morales saying, OK, you want to go, let's go. When they stood toe to toe in the second six rounds of their second fight, uh, uh, judges uh, gave five of those six rounds to Barrera. go inside of Morales' long arms all night to negate Morales' punching power. He won't want to be at the end of Eric's punches. Surprisingly, here tonight, Eric is throwing a short overhand right instead of the straight right hand early because Guerrero is so close to him. A little red mark on the top of Morales' nose. He has a hawk nose, and often it is reddened during fights. That's not unusual. Barrera's oh. making a lot of contact in the first round. He's got his left hook going, and he's red hot. Red hot, right on target. These combinations are landing flush. This is brilliant Barrera stuff. Those 11 pounds would allow him to take, allow Morella to take them punches a lot better, Jim. Absolutely. I just like to appreciate the artistry. Me too. He's always one of my favorite little guys in the sport, Marco Antonio Barrera. They trade jabs. And that's an area where Morales is likely to have the advantage, particularly with that strength. And again, Morales.
Morales waited while Barrera landed two combinations before Morales got off some punches of his own. What Barrera has in mind very clearly is controlled aggression. Box, 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 brawl, work brawl, out, brawl. Work out, work out, work out. Time. And it worked very well in that round. A great first round for Marco Antonio Barrera going in at a disadvantage against Morales. As we go to the corner where both trainers speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. You know what we came to do? You gotta hit him more in the body, the plexus. In the middle, the jab, and then the center. Like, like if you're throwing a straight right hand. Jab, you know, the left hand. He seen Morales dip in, throw the left body shot, and follow it with a left uppercut that snuck through the guards. Then Barrero came right back off the straight right hand and threw his left uppercut, caught Morales' right hand down. Beautiful uppercuts by both fighters. A very short Marco Antonio Barrera landed 24 out of 67 punches in the first round, including half his power shots, 21 out of 42. Morales, 15 out of 17 out of 62, 10 of 34 power shots. It was Barrera's round. Morales' strength and size may prevail in the end of this fight, but to me, he's fighting the wrong fighter against Barrera. I don't think it'd be the first time. I... <laughs> you heard Morales' corner ask for body shots. They said, hit him in the solar plexus. So far, Eric typically has been headhunting. Yeah, he's looking for a knockout tonight. He's not trying to outbox Barrera, I don't think. I think he wants to end this once and for all. Well, as we've mentioned, he doesn't like it. That can be good or bad. There's the power punching assault from Morales, and Barrera gets in a few of his own. Oh, 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 watch out, watch out! One thing seems clear. Barrera isn't likely to wait on Morales tonight. He wants to be first. Well, that was a good body shot by Morales. And there's a solid jab. Morales has been knocking Barrera back when he lands the jab, just like that. And now Morales is starting to take over as Barrera goes into a little bit of a shell when Eric fires the jab repeatedly. Barrera tries his own jab. Oh, good body shot by Barrera. Kind of blunted the right hand by Morales. Now Eric lands the left hook, and they trade jabs. Barrera sticks his twice. Morales has to start over. I believe Barrera has a better jab than Morales. A little stiffer. He has a slightly longer arms, despite the height differential. I don't see any advantage for uh, Morales with his jab. You might be right. Good body shot by Barrera again. Watch your head, watch your head, Middle Fuente. This is a pattern we've seen frequently between the two Good fighters. Good shot. Morales will land upstairs, Barrera comes back downstairs. Again, Good Barrera beats Morales to the punch with the left hook. Now Barrera gets chopped with a Morales right hand and holds on. That chopping right hand is one of Eric Morales' most effective punches. Now he sweeps the right hand. And lands it on Barrera's chin. Now it's Morales who's getting off and beating Barrera to the punch. And Marco goes back to that left hook, which is his primary weapon. His best weapon. Oh, good right hand. Terrific round. What a round. Can these guys fight? Can they? These, both of these guys can fight. Okay, don't don't delay now. Back them beautiful. Yeah, he's got a pro he's got a broken nose. Yeah, 
the, the punch is that he's hitting you because he's too far, he's far away from you. Jab him and throw the right hand. Make it right and the right hand with strength. Here you see Barrera land a one or two and a beautiful left uppercut right up the middle on Eric Morales. That is the worst shot you can get caught with in boxing. And if Morales different, different. does indeed have a broken nose, that might have been the punch that broke it. Yeah, the Barrera player believes it. You think he's got a broken nose, Roy? They were putting swabs inside his nostrils. I don't think it's broken, but I know that was a good shot, and it does have blood coming from it. Our shots in round two. Morales 23 out of 49. Barrera 17 out of 30. Morales also landed 10 out of 24 jabs. Neither fighter is a stranger to blow. Comparing the noise now to that during the preliminary fights, it's as though 15,000 people just walked into the arena. Again, Barrera beating Morales to the punch. Knocks him back with the right hand. Morales wants to retaliate. Barrera takes advantage. Counter left hook by Barrera landed flush. Morales lands a right hand and tries to go to the body, but Marco dug in. When they have fought this way, I've always thought there was a little edge to Barrera in close. I think there that is. That his punches were shorter and quicker, Roy. And sharper. That's why I don't understand why Eric fights him this way. Hard right hand by Morales. May have hurt Barrera because he backed up after that. Indeed. with a good left hook. Barrera has landed more combinations so far. When he stays in front of Morales, and meaning when he attacks first, he always does very well. Like that. Morales seems to be a tad slower at this 130 pound weight than does Barrera. You're saying that maybe it slows him down a little bit. It seems as though it does, because Braille seems to be much quicker than him tonight. Another flurry of punches from Barrera. Morales lunges okay, back one time. Now, good right hand of the body by Morales, and the left hand of the body as well. Gets in a little right inside. Watch your head. They Watch both your land head. uppercuts. Stop, stop, stop. Watch your head, fellas. Watch your head. Barrera appears to be landing more of the cleaner, meaningful punches, but Morales will never stop fighting him back. Like this. Again, the chopping right hand by Morales. So effective for him in so many fights. Yeah, but he believes his size tonight is going to be defective. He thinks he can impose his size on Barrero tonight. Well, if Morales thought Barrero was a shot item, after the knockout loss to Pacquiao, he has learned already that isn't the case. Let, let him breathe, let him take it easy. This is our fight. Don't, don't go just straight at him. Don't make it a war. Okay, deep red through the mouth. When, whenever you throw that straight right hand, he, he feels it. That's effective. The right hand is going to do it. An aerial look at Las Vegas on a beautiful night. Power shots through round three. CompuBox count. Morales 51 of 129. Barrera 57 of 103. He's landing 55% of his power shots according to CompuBox. Harold Letterman, I think it's a thankless fight to try to score. A scary task. How do you have it through three? Easiest pie, Jim. Two rounds to, to one. 29-28. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim Roy Jones hit the, hit the nail on the head. When Barrera gets off first, Eric Morales gets very, very flustered, and Barrera gets the best of it. No question, Marco does best when he gets off first. Eric Morales uh, fighting with his mouth wide open. There's something wrong with his nose. 
I think the nose may well indeed be broken because it now looks flattened around the nostrils. <laughs> you ever tried to fight with a broken nose, Roy? No, I've tried to fight to make sure I don't get a broken nose. <laughs> <laughs> The uppercut by Eric. That's the problem right there. Eric is, so look at the accuracy of Barrera's power punching. So Morales flurries back because he hates to get hit by Barrera. Yep. But as long as he waits on Barrera, he's going to get hit on a consistent basis. Because Barrera has lost a couple of big fights by KOs, Morales, in his heart, despite the first two fights, believes that Barrera is not in his class. I don't know who he's been talking to, but these fights certainly show otherwise. Well, I don't know if Morales really believes that. Oh, good up to say it. What a tremendous up Whoa, by up Barrera. By Barrera there. Morales seems totally stop, stop, unable to stop hand. Barrera's left hand. Nothing Barrera's he, landing the jab and the hook. Nothing he can do about it tonight. Again, Morales attacks with wild, long swinging punches. Yeah. Barrera back steps back inside back. and rips him with counters. There's blood all over Barrera's back. It's coming from Morales' nose. Good right hand by Barrera. This is a very big round by Marco Antonio Barrera. He's not just scoring, he's hurting Morales in this round. Now Morales tries to fashion a rally with 40 seconds to go in the round. Barrera has been calm and precise in a fight with raging intensity. Good body shot by Barrera. Tremendous left hook to the body. Morales misses, misses, no misses. Holding, no Barrera no holding, no holding. moves back away. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful uppercut that Barrera is throwing. And as, and as a result of the brilliance of Barrera's left hand, not only is Morales' nose bleeding and perhaps broken, but his right eye is beginning to swell. These could be big factors in the fight, and now they trade. Hey! We expected nothing less. Right now, as you look across the ring, Golden Boy promoters Richard Schaefer and Oscar Deloy are celebrating. They're very happy with what Barrera's doing. Okay. There's no more blood coming out of the nose. The hemorrhage is, is clear. How come you didn't tell me that uh, you had problems with your nose? Listen, listen to, listen to me. Box them with you from your distance, from the far. Don't stay in there. I, I, you gotta, you gotta press him. I don't want later on that the points go against you. Well, Roy Jones, you said yourself you thought Morales was fighting this, the wrong fight, staying close to, too close to Barrera. It appears that his father and trainer Jose Morales believes the same thing. Yeah, because if he keeps walking into the uppercut, the fight is not gonna last much longer. Total punches in round four. Morales 11 out of 73. He was not accurate in that round. Barrera 21 out of 70, but 13 out of 35 of his power shots. And let me hear clearly to be Barrera's round. Yeah, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about, Jim. Look at the right, the left bicep of Barrera. Look at the right bicep of Morales. The bicep being that big, he's going to be better compact punching than he is long range punching. Whereas Morales is going to be better long range punching no, 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 no. because look at his biceps. He has longer biceps. I hear you. So on body type alone, the style of the fight ought to be clear. Once again, I think Morales is trying to save up and rather on a late round knockout. You better start thinking about winning rounds. You're right. I'm not saying that's right. <laughs> I just say that's what I think he's doing. Well, if there's ever been a knock on Eric Morales in his career, a general tactical knock, it is that he doesn't fight well going backward. And he's I never had to do that much. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to be a rather big enough rat in these late rounds to beat Barrera if he lets Barrera win many more of these rounds. Barrera's doing something very smart. He keeps hitting Morales to the bottom to take the energy away from him, too, so that if he's tired, he won't be tired by himself in the late round. And he's absolutely tattooing him with left hooks. And another left hook lands. 
and to the body. Morales is throwing, 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 and Barrera just picks the target and bombs it with the left hook. Very economical tonight. Oh, good right hand by Barrera. Barrera is beating him to the punch from outside and inside. He's landing harder punches. And he's considerably more accurate and considerably more comfortable with what he's trying to do. But now here comes Morales going forward and chopping with the right hand, which is what he likes to do. Barrera tries to back him off with a left hook to the body. Throws the long one, too. When he throws the one, two, you get to see how long that right arm is. Right hand lead for Morales. Morales seems to have dispensed with the jab for the time being. Yeah, because it wasn't landing. <laughs> he was getting beaten by it. With the fight being outside, I just, Morales has a better chance to win the fight. As you see him landing straight right leads now because he's fighting outside. Right there, he's not going to win the fight. Barrera stepping inside and hammering Morales in the corner. Eric Morales is oh, falling behind right. on the scorecards in a fight in which it seems unlikely he can afford to do so. Barrera fighting his version of a perfect fight. You gotta prove something. Hey, what's going on? Come on, Larry, por favor. Come on, let me work on the nose. You're giving him a beating. We, we came to beat the shit out of him, and we're doing that. Here you see Barrera landing at one, two, boom, the right hand right on the forehead. Stops anything Morales was thinking about doing. Then here one more time, you see a left hook followed by an overhand right. Punch. The one, two, no matter if it's straight or if it's from the side, it's working very well for Barrera tonight. Power shots in round five. Morales, six out of 31. Barrera, 16 out of 29. Marco Antonio Barrera, throughout the fight, round by round, is still landing more than half of his power shots, targeting Eric Morales so accurately. Eric Morales said to us yesterday, I shouldn't have to be in this fight. I am so much better than him, everybody knows it. He's just a guy that you HBO people have built up into something bigger than what he is. Well, we didn't get to avenge that statement, but right now Barrera's doing it. Well, I'm gonna it's, say this. it's interesting because after the first fight, Barrera said they gave the decision to the HBO fight. Exactly. Morales. <laughs> They've both been on the, that particular campaign at one time or another. My thing tonight is Eric Morales is fighting like a guy who really doesn't want to be here right now. Barrera is fighting like a guy who has a, mo who has a motive, has a reason that he's in there. When a guy fights with the reason, he's much harder to deal with than a guy who just fights because he's just out there to fight. So when Morales said to us yesterday, I shouldn't have to be here, he was revealing something that he probably shouldn't have revealed. Well, yeah. Oh, that was a good body shot, too. Yes, he was revealing something that he shouldn't have revealed. That means that you have no interest here. And that's why he's just trying to knock Barrera out. He's not trying to win the fight the right way. Well, his arrogance is not being rewarded, as Barrera has been taking him to school. And it's still it happens as Barrera stops him in his tracks with a body shot. Hammers him with two right hands. Ducks and slips the left and the right. And I like Morales. And hits him with a brilliant uppercut. What a great rally by Barrera. Yes, I like Morales as a fighter. I always have. But Barrera is the okay, best small out, man in boxing that I've seen in the last decade. And Roy, with all tremendous respect to yourself, I think he's the smartest fighter I've ever met. Yep. <laughs> Oh, good oh, right hand. a right hand and oh, a left hook that just walloped that him. Hurt oh, his knees buckled. The last thing in the world a lot of people thought was that Marco Antonio Barrera could come in and knock out Eric Morales. But he's hurting Morales with shot after shot. And the blood is flowing again from Morales' nose, and Eric puts his glove up to it. This is what happens when you underestimate a guy because you think that he's not better than you. <laughs> Served you well for a long time, Roy. Oh, yeah, but 
you got to you got to know how to place it and against who, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. There are always going to be some guys that seem to give you a harder time. You just got to know that. And pay respect where respect is due. Simple as that. Brilliant combinations. Barrera's confidence is rising. All right, all right, stop, stop, stop. Up, up, keep him up, up, up. But he's probably too smart to take an unwarranted chance. Although he gets hit with a left hook there. Oh, my goodness. And comes back with a harder left hook. And a harder right hand. Marco Antonio Barrera is separating himself from Eric Morales tonight. And the Mexico City fans are on their feet. There's a very happy Oscar De La Hoya. He's standing up. So is his partner, Richard Schaefer. And next to them, Bob Arum and his lovely wife, Lovey, are sitting down. You're making a miss. Everything. He, you got to throw the right hand to the bottom. You're going to control him. You're doing it. You're the master. There, the upper cup off of the left hook you saw Barrera throw. I told you he's been working his left hand beautifully tonight. He see that one, two, that car Eric coming in. He's beating him to the punch. This 130 pounds is not looking good on Eric Morales to me. Eric Morales came in once again, unofficially weighing 143 pounds. Marco Antonio Barrera weighed in at 129 and a half, came in at 132. Logically enough, we thought 11 pound weight advantage for Morales. That will hurt Barrera. It's been exactly the opposite way around. Morales has been too slow. Barrera has been way quick. Way, way quick. And I can guarantee you, though, the one thing is that had he not been 11 pounds heavier than Barrera, he, had, he would have been touched to canvas tonight already. You know, the great trainer, Customato, said that a great fighter always has one great fight left in him. <laughs> and so far, Barrera has delivered on that. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> okay, Jim. 59, 55, five rounds to one, Marco Antonio Barrera. Marco's really mugging him, Jim. He's landing at that half hook, half uppercut consistently, and he's got Eric Morales pretty well busted up. In the last round, by CompuBox numbers, Marco Antonio Barrera landed 22 out of 34 power shots. That's equivalent to what Felix Trinidad was doing to Ricardo Mayorga by the end of their fight in Madison Square Garden last month. Yeah. I think Morales knows what's going on. You can never count him out. He's, he's so strong. He has such a great fighting spirit. Well, he could he could come back and dominate the second half of the fight just the way Marco has the first half. It wouldn't be out of the question. What makes that hard to believe, however, is that Barrera is unmarked, seems fresh, relaxed. Oh, good counter by Eric Morales. Great right hand. His best punch of the fight. And Barrera even countered that, though. <laughs> See from look that out, short out. counter right hand, Morales is still in there. He's not going to wilt. But even, even his father has asked a couple times, what is going on? Well, people think it's easy to tote this new weight around. It's not as easy as it seems all the time, you know? But Morales is so far winning this round. without having done a lot of damage. And now Barrera hammers him with the right hand of the body. And the round is close enough that Barrera could still steal it with a late rally. Good jab by Barrera. Last 30 seconds will probably decide the round. Morales lands a couple of right hands there. Barrera goes back at him with the left. Morales blocked that long right hand. Barrera had a chance to step inside, but backed away. I think Barrera's resting this round. I agree with you, Roy. Well, let's see if he tries to steal it. Good right hand, hand by Morales, and now Eric has probably won the round clearly. So Barrera may as well take the rest of the round up. And he doesn't. That was Morales' best round since the second. That was a good body shot at the end by Morales. Let's give me a towel here. Okay, you let, you let yourself down a little bit. 
Lo que quieras, mm. cuando tú tiras, le, le da well, you, hey, Whenever you want, you hit him, so throw punches. Ganaste. From the far, that's your boxing. Breathe through your mouth. That's it. Loosen his uh, protector. Right here, you see Morales counter. Barrera's right jab with a right hand. Even there, you see Barrera come out with another counter right, though. That's saying a lot. Then you see Morales land the right hand over, like an overhand right, followed by a one two combination. Eric Morales' biggest round as he landed 13 power shots to only three for Barrera. Both Roy Jones and Larry Merchant offering that perhaps Barrera was getting a little rest in round number seven. And his corner acknowledged to him that they were sure he'd lost the round. So Morales gets a little life. Let's see what he can do with it. His right eye is swelling. His nose is bleeding and partially flattened. Barrera, as Larry Merchant pointed out, still looks clean. Oh, good shot. There's the big rally. Barrera took him pretty well, but that was four or five solid power shots by Eric Morales. That was a beautiful counter right hand over top of Barrera's jab. And suddenly Morales comes alive, and so does the Tijuana crowd. Body shot. Good idea. Another left hook to the body. Morales seems to have found a more stable way to deal with Barrera. He seemed confused early in the fight, whether to fight him at distance or close up. And deal it's somewhere in between now. Yeah, but deal with him outside. You can count his jail like he just did. You can land big punches and not get caught with big punches. Right there, you don't want to be. Morales, for the last four minutes, has been going forward. Now Barrera seems to want to stem the tide. Now that Eric is working harder to set up his upstairs power shots with body punches, he's much more accurate. And Barrera begins, begins to just pull with the jab rather than throwing it as sharply as before. That's what happens when you eat a couple of straight right leads over top of your jab, Jim. Absolutely. <laughs> Momentum of the fight has changed. Barrera's going to have to be brave again to switch it back around. That's not a problem for him. Barrera blocked those two right hands and hammered Morales to the body. Now Morales lands another right, gets in a left hook. Barrera with a chopping right, yeah, and another chopping right. Fight's getting closer. This has been another pretty good round for Eric Morales. But instead of just leading through it as he did in the seventh round, Barrera has been fighting back here. First six rounds were a technical masterpiece from Marco Antonio Barrera. Hey! Now we've got a different fight. Chilly, clear weekend in Las Vegas. Beautiful shot of what I'm told is the world's largest hotel. How many rooms? Well, it would take you more than 13 years to stay in every one of them for one night. Okay. Yeah, hit him to the to the plexus and, and then the right hand. The right hand to the body. To the plexus. A lot of jabs is what you need to do. Hey, you came here like a challenger, and like a challenger, you gotta take the title. You can't win the title unless you do something. Right here, you see Morales counter that jab of Barrera with a straight right lead and double the right hand. Beautiful combination by Morales. Early in the fight, Barrera attacked Morales. He, had, he may choose to do that again right here. CompuBox numbers in round eight. Both guys landed 19 punches, but 18 of Morales' were power shots, as opposed to 10 for Barrera. Fight getting closer on Harold Letterman's scorecard, probably on the official scorecards as well. 
Stop! Step back! Step back! Again, the curious anomaly coming in. But Eric Morales got a decision in the first fight against Marco Antonio Barrera. Most ringside observers thought Barrera had won. When Marco Antonio Barrera got a unanimous decision in the second fight, many ringside observers thought Morales deserved it. Either way, they're one and one, and that's probably the way it should be. That was blocked. Good defense by Barrera. Glad to see him finally block that straight right knee. Well, he blocked it partially because he's kept his jab at home a little bit more. Good hook by Barrera. Good Takes a right hand, that. hammers Morales back into the corner with a left hook. Barrera's left hook has not been a factor in either of the last two rounds. He needs to make it a factor again to roll on home and win the fight. Now it's an outside fight, Jim, and that's why Morales is doing much better now than he was early in the fight. Sticks the jab and lands it. Let's see if Barrera gets penalized for hitting to the back of the head. No, he gets the first warning from Kenny Bayless. But Morales was holding his glove. Morales doesn't want to touch gloves with, <laughs> with Barrera. What else is new? Barrera's starting to let his left hook go again. He caught Morales again to the body there. Morales caught him with a good left hook too. Oh, and a right jumping hand. right hand lands flush. Barrera's starting to reassert himself. Morales gets in two body shots. Good and body another shot. big left hook upstairs by Barrera is the showier punch. Now suddenly Barrera's in charge again. If Barrera finishes this round stop, stop, stop. struggling, he may already have six rounds, which would put him in a commanding position. And he's trying to do exactly that, and Morales knows it. Work out, work out, work out, work you think out. fighters are aware of this kind of thing, or are they just fighting, Roy? Oh, they're aware of it. Morales knows, and so does Barrera. Jumping right hand again lands for Barrera. He's been brilliant in the last back, minute. And Morales is throwing some brilliant body shots, though. Oh, good right hand. And that last right hand by Barrera was probably enough to win the round. And then the punch after the round was enough to get Morales' anger back up. I don't know what they charged to see the first nine rounds, but they ought to charge double to see the next three. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. Understand? Okay. Hey, there's no need for you to do that, Marcos. Do anything careless to make me come to this side. Understand? Hey, listen to me. Two and three punches, what you gotta do. Round 10 begins. Barrera rallied big in the ninth. 26 out of 69 by CompuBox numbers. 20 to 12 in power punches. Harold, how do you have it coming to the last three? Okay, Jim, six rounds to three. 87-84, Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, in round seven and eight, Marco Antonio Barrera just didn't get off first. And when he doesn't get off first, and Morales gets off first, Morales hit the take defensive and do a hell of a lot better. Barrera started getting off first in round nine and won it easy, easily. 6-3. Barrera. Solid uppercut by Barrera during that exchange. Roy, do fighters hear Harold Letterman's scorecard in the ring? I usually do, so I'm sure they do too. <laughs> well, you know, I feel I have the same score, and what it means is that unless there's a knockdown, Barrera can't do worse than a draw, if we're right. And, and, a and you never know. And a draw oh, would be another uh, emotional victory for for Barrera, as in, the first, as in the first fight. Well, win or lose, it's been a stirring comeback in Barrera's career. A lot of people simply gave up on him 
after Pacquiao strafed him a year ago. Exactly, and he has said all along, okay, I had a bad night. I lost to a terrific young fighter. That doesn't mean I'm done. He came back against Ayala to show that he was still eager, and he is showing that against this guy, this world-class guy, he's as good as he can be. In other words, not only is he still alive and well, but he's still great. I have to confess, I wasn't sure. Nobody was. Tremendous combination by Barrera. He's seizing the action again. Morales is waiting on Barrera, and he can't afford to do it. He cannot win the fight waiting on the shot of Barrera. Eric Morales is going to have to go after Marco Antonio Barrera and put his imprint on these next three rounds if he's going to win the fight. So now it appears, Larry, that after Morales made the effective adjustment to turn the fight in his favor, Barrera has readjusted again. Yeah, which is to know that he has to do more of selective attacking. Big right hand by Morales in there, but it was only the one shot. Again, Morales touches his nose. An indication that it has been troublesome for him. That nose might have been flattened in the very first round. Certainly by the end of round two, it was bleeding. They played again, but it's hard to imagine how you could have given that round to Morales, and that's very bad news for his corner. You got to the distance. Why so close? Hey, we're going to the 11 now. We got to win the next two rounds. Don't let him take the initiative. Don't throw, put no more water on him. No more water. Come on. Now come out and throw it all. Let it all hang out. Throw it all. Throw a lot of punches. Don't wait for anything. Keep constantly punching. Let loose. Barrera is in the lead, apparently, and his corner doesn't want him to let up. Morales comes out of his corner more than halfway to meet Morales. And there's the jab back into the face of Eric Morales. Roy Jones. Uncharacteristically, Eric Morales only threw 39 punches in that last round. Is it even possible that he's discouraged? He's not discouraged. He's just a fighter that's fighting without a purpose tonight. I mean, Another hard right by Barrera in there. And the left hook. He wants to knock Barrera out, but that's just because he doesn't want to work out, work and do it the hard way. He's looking for the easy way out tonight. Anytime a guy comes in and looking for a knockout, he's looking for an easy way out. And it's not happening for him yet. And it's discouragement when it's not happening for him. It's to the body, and that sets up the hard punches to the head. Morales seems to be only going for the head, Roy. Going for the knockout, like I told you. Well, maybe he knows that he needs to get it. There's a good body punch by Morales at last. Wonderful body set. Fight fans in the Western Hemisphere have talked for the rest of their lives about the 36 rounds that these two fighters fought. A hard left hook inside may have hurt Barrera. But Barrera doesn't want to show it. And he's holding on. Good body shot. He fires shot. a body shot to stop the head. damage. Barrera slight. Oh, oh. Two big shots. Caught Morales with the uppercut. Morales catches him with the left. Another right hand for Morales. Marco bearing in and staying close, not allowing Morales to get the distance to hammer him with those power punches. And that's what he needs to do. 
Ruiz. Herrera needs close. to keep going into the jaws of line. Fight the John Ruiz fight. Stay close to him. There is no doubt in my mind that Barrera is very tired. There's no doubt in my mind that they're both very tired. Well, Barrera well, a little Morales bit more. Does look the pressure. Oh, all right. A little bit more tired, just holding on here. Well, good body shot by Barrera. Well, you can you can certainly expect a tired Marco Antonio Barrera to summon the will to keep going. Oh, good body shot again. <laughs> There's seldom been a more willful fighter. This is a great round, guys. A whale of a left hook. Where did that Barrera was a come up with that? Left hook. That left hook was the biggest punch of the round. It's a street fight in Las Vegas for the two greatest Mexican fighters of their generation. I want the same thing again. Everyone's on their feet. And You're going to win. Last round. You, I think we, they got him ahead. This is what we came for. I hate the fact that it has to end. This is what we're getting. What a round. We landed 87 power punches in that round. Marco Antonio Barrera landed more than half his power shots. In fact, 60% of them, 42. And, and Morales concedes the great fight that Barrera is fighting by touching gloves with him, something he has steadfastly refused to do. He slipped, he got his slipping very stiff on the middle of that right, and that whatever that sign is in the middle is wet and it's slipping on there now. He and got he caught somehow with kept himself up. Yeah, he did. The referee actually helped him, I think. <laughs> Barrera probably doesn't have to win the round. No, he doesn't. He probably does have to stand up. Well, he got to stay up on his feet, but he won't have to win the round. I think he'll win the fight even if he gets knocked down this round, as long as he gets up. If they scored it correctly. Barrera's doing the right thing by getting off first. Oh, right now, the two fighters are both exhausted. The last four and a half minutes of action are like nothing you've ever seen. Unless, of course, you watch Daddy Ward. Or their first fight. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. Well, they just fought the 11th could go into a time capsule, much like the fifth round of their first fight, the ninth round of Ward Daddy oh, Ward. Oh, oh. Less than a minute and a half to go. Morales seems aware that this is his last shot. Barrera's gonna fight fire with fire. They're gonna throw leather down the stretch. Marco Antonio Barrera doesn't know how to run. He only knows how to fight. And that's the best thing for him, Jim. He's a shorter guy. He has a shorter arms. He's best to stay as close to Morales as he can. It's safer for him. Barrera. A raging passion. On the part of both fighters, Morales momentarily had his legs tangled up in the ropes. Less than a minute to go. That jab from Barrera is very effective tonight. Blood streaming from Morales' eye and nose. Barrera was momentarily in dangerous territory, right in Morales' punching range. Now he goes back inside. Eric Morales is gonna try to mask for one final assault. Marco Antonio Barrera is so tired he can barely stand up. He's like a he's like a miler who runs to the tape and collapses at the tape. He's giving every ounce that he has in his body. One last big left hook, and it might have been enough. They are savagely trained until the final bell. Yes! In the I'm standing up too. Boxing at his best. 
what these two guys have given to the sport. <laughs> wow. Not be quantified. Wow. Harold Letterman gives the last two rounds to Eric Morales, but still Barrera has won the fight on his guard. I would have given the 11th to Barrera. I probably would have given the 12th to him. Judges are Larry O'Connell from England. After he scored, Lewis Holyfield won a draw. He went back to England and said, you know what? I made a big mistake. I know that Lennox really won the fight. Jerry Roth of the United States. Very famous judge, been around a long time. Scored Trinidad de la Hoya for Trinidad, which was the official outcome of the fight. Roth is known to favor the aggressor, or at least that's what fighters think about him. Paul Smith of the United States was one of three judges who all scored De La Hoya Sturm, 115-113 for De La Hoya. The crowd thought otherwise. Once again, Eric Morales is the man who said to us yesterday, you guys built Barrera up. He's not in my league. Well, that at least was proven wrong. Yep, that definitely was. When you hear a guy talk about a guy like that and you know that's not the case, it's almost disrespectful to other fighters. And now they put Barrera up on the shoulders of the men in his corner and walk him around. And I think that should be good enough because the fans know who won the fight. Roy Jones, let's look at some amazing highlights of this fight. Round one, Marco Antonio Barrera immediately established that he was going to be the aggressor and try to control the fight. Round five, Barrera still doing that. By our lights, he won five of the first six rounds. Then in round seven and eight, Eric Morales seemed to fight the correct distance at which to fight Marco Antonio Barrera, began to go forward and seemed to take over the fight. In round nine, Marco Antonio Barrera seemed to turn it again around again as once again he made his left hook a primary factor. And then Roy Jones, rounds 11 and 12. You can only describe this in terms of guts, blood, and commitment. And heart. A desperate Morales looked for a knockout in the last round. A desperately tired Barrera hung on for dear life, firing back as often as he could. A tremendous, tremendous show. Couldn't ask for a better fight, Jim. One man will get to go through the rest of his life saying, I won two of these three fights. Which one is it? Michael Buffer is about to tell us. Here at the MGM Grand, we have seen two of the greatest fighters in the world complete 36 rounds, and this, their third and greatest effort. A round of applause for both Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. We go to the judges' scorecards. Paul Smith scores it 114 to 114 even. Jerry Roth and Larry O'Connell both score the bout 115 Pardon me, Larry O'Connell, 115 to 114. Jerry Roth, 115 to 113 for the winner by majority decision. And new WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, the Ciudad de Mexico, Marco Antonio. What an amazing career. Barrera rose to prominence as the baby-faced inheritor, inheritor to Julio Cesar Chavez's tradition of great body punching. Then suddenly he was knocked out and defeated again in decision by Junior Jones and seemed to have fallen off of the top pedestal in the sport. He came back with his great performance against Eric Morales in the first fight but didn't get the decision. Then he outpointed Prince Nassim Hamed and has been among the best in the sport ever since. Morales landed 231, Barrera 59 more. Morales threw 43 more. Barrera was clearly the more accurate puncher.
power shots. And this, of course, is where the fight was fought. Barrera landing 41 more as he hammered Morales throughout the fight with straight right hands, left hooks upstairs, and left hook to the body. Morales, with each round, threw more power punches, trying to get himself back into the fight. But Barrera's connect percentage of 49% on power shots ultimately was the difference. He painted Morales' face. That probably won him the fight. Let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Marco Antonio. Is this the crowning achievement of your career? This is the maximum of your career, this fight. I think yes, having won three titles in different divisions was the best for me. Some gloves that didn't stay, I'm sorry, they hurt my hands. But we wanted to show that those gloves don't stop. Absolutely. Having won three titles, it's amazing. I had a little trouble with the, with the gloves. They didn't fit, but we made the best of it. What was your plan of attack in this fight, and why did it work so well? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál era tu plan de ataque en esta pelea y por qué trabajó tan bien ese plan? Bueno, la idea era encimarlo, estar encima de él porque él es muy peligroso a su distancia. Y lo estuvimos cerrando unos rounds, nos dejamos llegar por los demás y estuvimos adentro. The plan was to be aggressive, jump on top of him because we know that from the distance he's very dangerous. We did that. In a few rounds we didn't do what we were supposed to, but we were successful. Did you find that even though he was much bigger than you, that you were quicker and especially inside and that gave you the advantage. El contraste tuvo que aunque él era más grande y más fuerte que tú, eh, pero tú esto era fueras más rápido, más ligero que él y eso te dio la ventaja. Fue la ventaja que tuvimos más rapidez. Estuvimos entrando y saliendo. Él era de pegada fuerte, es un pelador de 130 grande. Pero gracias al plan de trabajo todo salió bien. Queríamos demostrarles que con todos sus guantes, Oscar de la Hoya y Barrera that was the plan, to, to box and move, to be uh, swift, and uh, we know that he's a hard puncher with, because uh, we, we wanted to show him that his gloves weren't going to prevail. He seems to have held you beneath him somewhat in contempt, and especially because you lost to Pacquiao the way you did. How much did that help you that he seemed to dismiss you. Él en muchas ocasiones te ha menospreciado, especialmente después de la pelea de 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 Pacquiao. ¿Cuánto te puso eso para que pudiera hacer eso a favor tuyo? Bueno, yo creo que lo de Pacquiao fue una mala noche. Oscar de la Hoya lo sabe, por eso nunca dejó de de confiar en mí, y es por eso que yo quería esta pelea, una pelea fuerte para demostrarle a mi nuevo equipo que pues con este examen demostramos que son puras habladurías, que la cabeza y que no la cabeza. Y bueno, con Oscar de la Hoya esperamos que que pues estemos centrados en el gusto de la gente por eso Oscar es un gran jefe un gran amigo. Well as I said before with the many Pacquiao was an off night with a lot of things involved. Uh, we we prepare well with my new uh, with, with my uh, promotional group Oscars and uh, we we're going to do great. You went over at the end of the fight and tried to shake his hands as you have done before but he seems to be unable to, to do that. What are your thoughts about this? Después de la pelea, usted fue un caballero, un deportista, y fue a saludarlo, y él no quiso nada de eso. ¿Cuáles son tus pensamientos sobre eso? Bueno, fue muy triste. Le aventó el agua a mi papá en la cara. Eso es muy mala educación. Yo creo que somos buenos deportistas y no debe de hacer eso. No se vale porque somos el ejemplo de mucha gente. We're very sorry for that. We went over there to congratulate him. He threw water on my dad's face. This is not what good sportsmen uh, people do. It's a shame. Thank you again. Marco Antonio, and I just want to uh, ask one or two questions to your promoter um, right here. My boss. He's my boss. <laughs> He's your boss. All right. Tell us, how big is this for you compared to winning a big fight? Well, this is big for, for us, a team. We're a team. Like I said, he, he keeps on mentioning that I'm his boss. No, he's my, he's, he's, he's my boss. Let's put it that way. The fighter is in control. The f that's the way it should be. And um, it does big for Golden Boy Promotions, but ultimately the fighters are the ones inside the ring and they're the bosses. And did you have confidence as a fighter, as well as a promoter, that he still had this kind of effort left in him, Oscar? When he fought Manny Pacquiao, I, I knew it wasn't Barrera in there. I, I knew it as a fighter and as a friend, as a promoter, I knew it wasn't him in there. So I knew Barrero has a lot left inside of him. I knew it. It's a matter of just training hard and focusing. That's all he needs. And that's why he showed that he's a, a real fighter, the people's champion here tonight. 
Thank you again, Mark Antonio. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Jim?